welcome everyone. Um, a new class today and again trigonometry. We're nearing the end of it now. So today we're going to be building three-dimensional models. The class today was an introduction to three-dimensional trigonometry. The students had already studied two-dimensional trigonometry and had worked with right-angled and non-right-angled triangles. So they were given three different scenarios to work from and they had to build the actual scenario in question using the wooden structures and it was a, a fantastic way to introduce them to the real world of trigonometry and they could actually get into the three-dimensional figures and work out how it was that they were going to solve the triangles in question. Some of the class got pyramids and some of us got cubes to do and we got a cube so we had to build it using the poles and our boards and elastic bands and from that then we had to find different measurements so we had to find like the diagonals and stuff so we were kind of breaking it down into triangles and different things like that. If we find like that right there, we can make a triangle out of those. I like working in groups because if you get stuck, you're not just stuck with the person beside you because they might know it either. So you have a few other people to work with on the question. Uh, we had a little bit of bother at one stage all right, but once we got a bit of help from a couple of the lads, we were grand. I think we were stuck on this last question. We need some help. What is it? We have to find the angle of AGE. That's 90. Right angle, that's 90 degrees. Do the sign road. Sign road. Yeah. <laughs> Put 17.32 over the sine of 90, oh, then put okay. 10 over the sine of call that x. So we go sine 17.32 over the sine of 90. Yeah, that's the no, job. Don't add, don't. No, no multiply. multiply. Multiply them by the sine of? Over the sine of x. Just 10? Yeah. Is it sign 17 by 3 to over here then? Yes. That should be X. That? Yeah. Because you don't know that side. You're trying to find that side. Okay. So sign of 90 times 10. Yeah. Sign of 90 times 10. Yeah. Way down 10. It's way easier to see it when it's in 3D instead of 2D because it's easier to see the angles that you're looking for or the sides that you're looking for that wouldn't be so obvious when it's only 2D. Okay. This one here? Yeah. So, we put the rubber band there. There is a much better atmosphere in the project my class now. No one is finding it as difficult and it's not as boring or anything. You like it a lot now than the other style of maths that we're doing. Project maths, like, it's sort of easier to grasp the, the questions that you're doing, like, because you're more, you're interacting with it a bit more, like. I found myself almost made redundant in today's class, which was fantastic. The kids just took off. They knew how to put them together. They knew the trigonometry, so they were able to work out um, any of the questions that they were given. Presenting their findings to the rest of their fellow classmates is really important for uh, a student, mainly because if you can't explain something to somebody else, you're not really fully understanding it. And if they're able to get up and explain what they've done to their classmates, they absolutely understand it inside out. And we found here that A to C is 14.14. The height of it was 146. We're trying to find the uh, edge here. Use Pythagoras then to find AC. The phone now standing in front of the class now was fairly hard. Like, you know, if you made a mistake, it, it kind of tore you off a bit. But well, um, now yeah, we got through it anyway. That equals to 21,390. We solved um, the side of a pyramid. It turned out um, one side is equal to 21,000 metres or that. That's the, near the equivalent of three football pitches. So I like the fact um, that the things that we are studying weren't just numbers on the page, that they were real life things. Interesting to see like that. Maths was used in the planning of the pyramids. And that's it. Well done. Give them a round of applause. Thank you. Okay, 
everyone and well done because I can see a huge progression in you from our first class. It's been a huge eye opener for me to see the kids growing so uh, dramatically in a space of a few months. To see the kids grow from being so quiet and, and shy and introverted to being able to be confident and uh, articulate what they can, can and can't do in maths is just a fantastic thing to watch. You're really getting into it and really understanding what's going on. So well done to all of you. I'd say to all teachers out there, definitely stick with the new methodologies. It's a journey worth taking and the destination is definitely a place you want to go to. And just like the pyramids in Giza, I think you will discover a whole new um, realm of mathematics and the kids will be right there along with you.